For those of you are, who are just tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are currently beginning our descent down to an unnamed gale right outside the Pacific Criminal Islands Marine National Monument. On this dive, we are expected to be down there about 14 hours and be at about 1,400 meters below the ocean surface. We had a delay as we've been having uh, issues with the weather and navigation, but we had just gotten to the right spot and the weather is currently favorable for us. And so on this dive, we'll be equipping our ROV Hercules with the laser dive bot, which has been cleared for uh, active duty underwater science after some testing in the past few weeks. The laser dive bot will be focused on measuring manganese on the feral manganese crusts that, sur that surround uh, many of the rocks down at East Sea 4. During this dive, we will be exploring an interesting series of mounds and levees and a channel feature on the summit of this guillot at approximately the same depth range as we explored in Seamount 5 during a previous dive. So for those of you who are interested and like to know more about our expedition, feel free to check out our website at nautiluslive.org and you can also type into the chat and ask us questions. We have a team of scientists, engineers, and pilots here to answer your questions. And so my name is Daniel. I'll be your science communication fellow SPL host this evening. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. No. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go Sorry, ahead. I was zoning out reading the camera instructions. Um, hi, my name's Sarah. I'm the scientist for this watch. Hi, I am Loopy. I am the data logger for this watch. Oh, is that a big? A nope. Problem. Never mind. <laughs> And Dag, Atalanta's away. Okay, copy. And I am Sarah with an H. Woohoo! I am uh, the co pilot for this uh, for Atalanta. Oh, it's a squid already! Ooh. Oh, wow. Pink. And it inked. And I'm Amber, I'll be your video engineer. Squid! Didn't know they were pink. That's awesome. Oh! Oh, so cute. Oh! Look at that small, small mantle. Any chance we could get Atalanta's cam moved down again? Or? Uh, just stand by on all that till we sure. get to 50. Sure. Oh. Look at all the squids. And fish. 
Yeah, so this is like prime time for everything. And the upper depths. Whoa! Oh, they're unhappy. Oh. I think this is the most I've seen them ink. This is yeah, interesting. Yeah. This is the most I've seen them. <laughs> yeah. Are you good if I minimize the yeah. um, QTT? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. No, everything's good. Yeah, I'm liking this music feature. to the audio slate for dive H1958. Uh, UTC time is 10 41 15. Are we good to hit the dive salvo? Oh, yes, dive salvo. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, I'm gonna do something with this. Is 
that kind of some kind of uh, shrimp? Or? Looks like some sort of arthropod, but I don't know what. I got a picture, but I don't. Uh, it's not a good picture. That's all right. And I can't zoom in. For it's some okay. Reason. I gonna go with the shrimpy thing. <laughs> still a lot of squid ink in the in the back cameras, so we're still upsetting quite a few squids. Oh. Um, and we're seeing a lot of things in the upper depths of the water column because it's nighttime. There's no sunlight um, to hurt them, so they migrate upwards. Bridge now. Or some more productive. Kay. Can we go ahead and hold position? Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Oh, some jelly thing. Oh, look at those over there. Yeah. All right, Daniel, how about them jokes? Them riddles, let's <laughs> kind of go <laughs> as early. <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you want to introduce right yourself? Oh, yeah, we can do Did you all Wait, already yeah. introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah, we already kind of did introduce What did you say? Your we favorite ice cream flavor? Mm -hmm. No? No. no. It was no, just, we just said our name and our, yeah. t our role. <laughs> yeah. We was like, hey, hi. My name I'm is Leela. I am science manager on this cruise and watch lead on this watch. And... My favorite ice cream flavor is <laughs> <laughs> is anything chocolate or hazelnut with lots of chunks in it. Oh, that's so like that's yeah. Or something like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like chocolate, there was a chocolate ice cream or hazelnut ice cream. A, like a mix of both, preferably Nutella. with like Nutella <laughs> swirls in it. There was this Ferrero Rocher. Okay, so I was in Ooh. Austria with my family before this, oh. and there are these really good Italian gelato spots. And there was this Ferrero Rocher flavored one. Ooh, oh, that sounds good. That sounds it was incredible. so good with all the good chunks. Oh, well, if we want to do ice cream flavors, <laughs> I love a good mint chip, but with the really oh. chunky, chunky dark chocolate mm. chips. Mm -hmm. I'm also a chunk person. Mm -hmm. So good, and also um, gelato. So good. Um, my favorite is a butter pecan. And then I like a good sherbet ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd say my favorite is uh, matcha green tea ice cream. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> well, Daniel, good. you have there's a spot I have to tell you about in Hawaii. <laughs> okay. It's a good shave ice spot, but they have a matcha green tea shave ice, and it's like mm. creamy. It's not like really? just flavored ice. It's mm. like there's cream ice cream integrated into the shaves it is oh that's amazing delicious. and it comes with on the side there's a little piece of uh or a little scoop of black sesame ice cream and yes. uh they put some like i don't know delicious sauce on top you just you've got to get this you said that field trip when we get back <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I said, yeah i said celebratory field trip when we get back <laughs> yes i'm so down for that What about uh, everybody else? Like, Amber, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Well, I do love a good oat milk ice cream with like caramel and chocolate swirls. Mm. Oatmeal ice cream. Mm. Oat milk. Oat milk. Yeah. Okay. The Real quick, types. is uh, still cam powered on, Michael? Oh, no, it isn't. Sorry. All good. Hold on. All good. I was going to say this. One time I found oh, um, like the. Uh, Little okay. Debbie's powered oh, on milk no cream Thank pies you. as an ice cream flavor, and I didn't Whoa. get to try it, but it sounds interesting. I actually have tried it, and <laughs> it was pretty good. 
Wow. Yeah, I love oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> so, like, when they came out with the ice cream, I was, like, running to the store. Um, but Oat yeah, milk? It, it was I don't know what good. that is. Oatmeal cream pies. Oatmeal. Cream. oatmeal. 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 Okay. oatmeal. I, I just have ice cream on the brain. So. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to try oat milk ice cream and other dairy-based ice creams. Who is this? That's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> mysterious person in the board <laughs> I'm sorry it's the picture <laughs> that's your first time the seeing it <laughs> yeah can you try and get the pilot cam oh up God. Sarah sorry everyone. I don't know if it's oh going to be on or not oh my god that was so good not that one not that one <laughs> that was so funny <laughs> uh, man <laughs> Well, still cam's working. <laughs> uh, I think I can help you, Sarah. Oh, it's not you good. Go ahead. That's funny. <laughs> what is that from? Do we know? <laughs> so I Honestly, think it's going to be on PC3, but I don't think it's up yet. <laughs> okay. Or PC4. And then, uh... Sorry, I can't hear you. Because I was told this one is H11. Yes. So when I push that, go back home. Anyway, I do your gauges, and that's going to be her brow. Yeah, so I push that. Yeah. Goes to H12 what every time. Heck? Every time. Let me, well, let me watch you do it. Okay. <laughs> H11, her brow. And All it right. sends it there every That's why I'm always like, I can't. <laughs> Can you do two and see what happens? Yeah, two is when I put the pilot cam there. Okay, that works. that's a fun little bug. Oh, I'll take a note of that. So th <laughs> can I get the gauges on the crew? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not just me, I, you've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it with my own eyeballs. <laughs> All right, did I do it right? My mom's Thank watching you. the okay. live and she said mm -hmm. the nutter butter ice cream is good. Little little butter Debbie. Ice cream. I don't even know that was a thing. Well, little Debbie came out with like all these ice creams, <laughs> like the little snacks she already has. She came out with ice cream flavors for them. Mm. So they were pretty good. And hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Loopy's mom. Hi, Loopy's mom. You should type into the chat. Type questions. That's you what have I told her. <laughs> she might be watching on YouTube or something. You need to give an embarrassing shout out to Loopy. Yeah, no, let's not give funny. her any ideas, because she will. No, because I'm pretty sure if she was able to post a picture, she probably would have posted a picture. <laughs> That's her go-to, is embarrassing pictures of me. Aww. Okay, y'all are talking about ice cream. Yeah. Um, yeah. Usually, <laughs> summertime, I'm like, banana split. Oh, all the way, yeah. yeah. And especially if yes. they let me, like, change the ice cream yeah. that I put in it. Not vanilla. Um, very exciting. Well, I get pretty thrilled with that. But other than that, if it's like go to the grocery store, I am usually either getting Ben and Jerry's half baked, mm -hmm. which is the cookie ooh, dough ooh. and brownie fudge yes. pieces. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Or brownie batter core. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, but I yes. do like a salted caramel gelato once in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ooh, nice. Delicious. <laughs> I like the Ben and Jerry's um, banana ice cream. Ooh, I don't know that. that yeah. Banana Ooh. ice cream. Oh, Daniel, you don't guess. have it to where they can comment? Should be able to. She might be watching on you. Oh. No, she's on the website. Mm. I'm going to tell her to refresh. Yeah. Refresh. Daniel, do you know if chat is enabled? It definitely is. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. So right, because people are chatting. There <laughs> is this um, brand of ice cream that's starting to sell in Walmart's now. That <laughs> it's like it's French ice cream, meaning that it's made with like egg yolks or something oh. like that, or egg whites. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Ooh. And there's this, there's several flavors that are really unique. So there's one that's Earl Grey tea, <gasps> which Stop. I'm also Stop really right like. It's actually really delicious. That would be delicious with the bur kind of that bergamot. Oh my mm. gosh, stop. Yep. That sounds amazing. And another one, the sweet potato pie. I haven't tried that one just yet. No, and no, I got you. another one, a cinnamon roll. Mm. A cinnamon yeah. roll? Mm -hmm. Cinnamon roll would be good. I love a good no cinnamon roll. The slurp handle. 
<laughs> Put a little note in here about the slurp handle. There's um. Is there a slurp handle problem? Oh, it just popped out of its mount. It's it's fine. Oh. Yeah. It's trying to collect all the little. It's ready to go. <laughs> it's ready. It's, 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 it said, why do we ignore the midwater? Yep. Um, there's this like Persian ice cream. It's like saffron and rose water. Oh yes. Oh. Oh, oh I yes. know what you're talking about. My God. It's that extremely so fragrant, but it's really good. good. It's really yes. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is it like a gelato or something? Like something mm -hmm. like that? No, it's just ice cream. It's straight up just ice cream, but different flavored. They also have like pistachio ones. Ugh. But that's that's something no, we already Sarah, know about. Sarah, no. Sarah, <laughs> mute yourself. What did I do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did it happen? I hot mic. So if you house. move it and it's a hot mic, then it's <gasps> then everyone's like, oh. <laughs> 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 it like I was like, I'm going to hold it like, far away so nothing's going to rub on it while I twist no. it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just heard like pistachio ice cream and then like <gasps> Sarah and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. not pistachio. <laughs> no. But I don't like pistachio. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Spongebob reference, I'm sorry. That's awesome. we, I, I, okay, you know sorry. what what sorry. what if I'm one time we don't mention Spongebob? I don't think it's Is I that think that's impossible. impossible. I think that's impossible. I can try. Impossible. I have to think of like what you would be rewarded with. <laughs> but but so I'm also a uh, PBS kid, so I didn't watch any of this stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I can't oh, relate man. to any of it. All you right. bring up this all right, worm. All right. When you brought up the worm the other day, the Alaskan ground worm, I was like, is this, is this a real worm I'm supposed <laughs> to know about? Like, what is that? Yeah. And then he's pulling up pictures <laughs> like, of the Alaskan. They all knew. I'm realizing. Like, well, glad I, I like, I could have asked, I guess. <laughs> I'm also, yeah, I'm yep. also realizing that probably most of our audience was not SpongeBob watchers, so, you what? know. We convinced, oh, we convinced okay. a few of them to get on it. Yeah, SpongeBob spans many generations, I feel like. I was going to say, my mom is a big SpongeBob person. Oh, how fun. So she, <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to challenge accepted. I got it. It doesn't have to be this one because it's already too late. <laughs> <laughs> and because, right. you know, that we have this, like, cheater bit in the midwater where there's an a lot inspiring you of SpongeBob. But, but our next bottom dive, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And and hmm. the reward will be on Sunday. <laughs> I'll make sure there's ice cream. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. You have that power? Just for you. <laughs> but wait, it depends on which flavor. It has to be one that you like. I, it's mystery. You just never know. <laughs> yeah. I hope mystery is and good. And it may already be half eaten. <laughs> Mystery, we snow. That Stop. Co that, <laughs> coffee, <laughs> that coffee ice cream had me like up. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> I mm, could not sleep. Really? It was good, but it was just coffee. like I was up. I had energy. <laughs> I could use that right now. Actually, I feel good right now, which means I'm probably gonna be like, <laughs> like two hours. <laughs> Power down. So good. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening up there, Loopy? What a useless screen. What you want to be looking at? Oh, I don't know. I can't control that screen. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, oh, I hit can? on top down there. Oh, I knew I could do that, but I thought, like, and that's you what <laughs> they were looking <laughs> at. <laughs> okay, I'm on top, and then go to high pack Ooh. survey. High pack survey. Barbecue and house. Tuna kit. There you go. Ah, there we go. You have the power. You can be looking at whatever you Ooh, want. <laughs> By whatever arm. you want, I mean that screen. I'm listening to music. <laughs> Not anymore. Well. I can't hear it, actually. You can't? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just on a pause right now. Oh. Oh. It, it's got to start the next one. Is there a way I can turn up the volume on that? Here, I'll come back there. Mm -hmm. I, I have a non-SpongeBob joke. Okay. Go for it. I'm I worried by the way you brought that up. It seems <laughs> like it might be peripherally, <laughs> peripherally related. Um, how do you find electricity in the ocean? Uh, An electric mm, eel? Uh, oh. Uh, let's see. How do you find electricity in the ocean? You. Through current or something? Oh, ocean you follow current. the current. Yeah, oh. just look for the current. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
But what about like amps? How what, how's that gonna factor in? <laughs> amplitude. No, not Voltage. amplitude. No, that that was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was too easy. What is that on Atalanta Cam? Um, uh, there it goes. Yep. So, here's a question I like to ask everybody, especially uh, seafarers such as ourselves. Is water wet? Oh, I hated this debate. <laughs> <laughs> when it so, was do you have a strong opinion? I think it is wet. I mean, it's water, so yeah, it's, it's wet. But is it wet to itself? Define what, what wet is in contact with water mo molecules. Like, would you say that the the, the seafloor is wet? I feel like... Covered or saturated with water or another liquid. Oh, it's definitely covered. Is adjective. I mean, water is covered in water. Yeah, it's like water molecules are surrounded by other water molecules, <laughs> therefore it's wet. So the real question is, would a single water molecule be wet? No. No. <laughs> it's just water. Yeah. That's like saying, that's like the whole, is cereal a soup debate? Mm. Ooh, is it? Our quesadilla it sandwiches. Soup. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Our well, that sandwiches. <laughs> well, that depends, right? Because it depends on how you define soup. If it needs to be savory it, or not. It doesn't no, it doesn't have to be savory. savory. I, I don't think that's, it that's an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> we can like, also say... Like with the sandwich debate, some people are okay calling like a pita a sandwich, right? Yeah. But that's Ooh, three, so that's three sides. Of carb with stuff in the middle. Yeah. And some people are also okay bringing it as far as being like chocolate taco ice cream is a sandwich. Oh my god, they discontinued those. Mm -hmm. Oh no. It was a chocolate taco day. Day. Yes. <laughs> that was sad. actually a thing? Yep. I think it's an East Coast thing. I no, it's a, it was a national or, I thing. I mean, it could be called okay. like a sweet one, <laughs> could be a, a dessert dessert sandwich like or the, um, a breakfast sandwich oh my gosh the the ta the sandwiches that daniel and i were talking about that they sell at 7-eleven the japanese like oh you're hold on uh japanese cream fruit the sandwich. ocean is a soup what? somebody wrote that in the chat <laughs> the, ocean, the ocean is kind of a soup yeah it's a soup full of uh and it's savory because it's salty yeah Oh, yeah. and you it's can got fish poop. You can eat oh. stuff in the ocean. No, Daniel, so. you can. <laughs> Dang. The ocean tastes like salt, and you can't drink it, and that's sad. You can't Why is drink the ocean it? salty? Uh, no, that <laughs> is a great question. What a wonderful question, Luby. Yep. I actually know the answer to yes. that. Do you know the answer, uh, Lila? Yes, I do. But you can go right on ahead if you'd like. You seem excited. Yeah. So it's a big. Uh, you got to think. Big, essentially. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. water, the, think about the water cycle. So, you have water Ooh. that goes from the uh, evaporates off water through evapotranspiration Ooh. into the atmosphere, and then it rains. And then, when it rains on land, that water picks up all sorts of minerals. And along the way, these minerals um, form ions in the water. And those ions down the road. Uh, get dumped into the oceans through rivers and gulfs and all sorts of other areas and then those ions combine with each other to form salt. Mm -hmm. Typically, you know, sodium chloride, but you also get other salt minerals like, I don't know, magnesium chloride, things like that, but mostly just regular table salt. Yeah, the salt is the sep the separate ions, all the mm. various separate ions in the water. Yeah. There are a few dominant ones. Oh my gosh, we're already at 630 meters. Wow. And uh, and it's kind of a, an important thing that some biogeochemists focus on is what's called a mass balance or trying, trying to figure out uh, what all the inputs are of each of those ions to the ocean, and then what all the outputs are. Where do, where do they all go? What, where mm -hmm. do they end up? Um, and how does that whole cycle fit together? How do we make the uh, the ins equal the outs? Ooh. 
to because if if the ocean is always the same amount of salty that means the same amount is coming in as is going out uh, so there are biogeochemists that focus on on those balances on trying to figure out all the ins and the outs yep. it's essentially a salinity uh, bank budget in a way yeah and many uh, geomorphologists focus on that as well mm -hmm. oh, wow. so like iron for example is one of the ions one of the salty ions in the ocean and mm -hmm. that comes into the ocean in a variety of ways it comes through river transport it comes through dust like aeolian dust you mm -hmm. call it uh aeolian input uh, so that's um you know like the sahara for example is one big source of iron that the when the wind blows iron from the sahara into the ocean um yeah Lots of different places that, that each come from. Some ions come from places like hydrothermal vents actually uh, mm -hmm. supply mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. not insignificant amount of some of those yeah. ions. Mm -hmm. Sulfur. We are about 30 minutes from the bottom of the seafloor. Oh, wow. Is this going to be like a short dive? Oh, uh, it's just a very shallow dive. Yeah, just because we've got the dive bot on. Oh, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> We've got our lovely laser dive bot folks on. Yeah. SPL2. Did you, you introduce yourselves? Like introduce yourselves, earlier? yourselves, please do. Oh, hey, everybody. Uh, this is Pablo Sobron, uh, City Institute and Impossible Sensing. And yes, uh, we mm -hmm. are doing the checks of the laser bot here as we're going down. Everything is looking sharp and, and good. And good. Here is with me is Kevin. I'm Kevin from the Applied Physics Lab, University of Washington, doing the Raman uh, instrumentation, firing the laser and making sure that everything is checking out. What temperature is it in the in the dive bot bottle right now? We call him Kevin Intelligence. Kevin <laughs> Intelligence. Uh, we got a, we have a range of temperatures. Our coldest right now is 15 C, and our hottest is 31. Wow. Okay, and the laser. Okay. And the laser is actually firing currently. You can't see it in any of the cams except for the yeah. downward facing one. Is that, and is the temperature around the laser what y'all are oh, most concerned about keeping I think. above a certain temperature, above five or, or I don't know what your. I think it's, cool. a, it's from 28 to 32, right? Is that the range that the laser has to be in? Uh, yeah, the, the crystals inside the uh, laser likes to be at 28C, okay. and it has its own heaters, and that's, it's right now, it's at 28C. The outside of it's like 37 or so. Okay. So it's it's doing good. Good. Are the heaters so on? Far. Is that the how you're approaching it now? Yeah, the heaters are on right now. We're at about 60% duty cycle, so I'm slowly bumping it up as we go down, because I don't want to cook something. Yeah. Glad everything is working okay this time. A big thumbs up to that. <gasps> Ooh. So we have somebody in the SPL chat from Australia. Shout out there. Hey. And they have a quick question. Is it possible to join a Scientist Ashore program from Australia? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can course. join the Science Ashore program from anywhere you want. You just... Uh, need to make a Scientist Ashore Portal account and request access to the the dives that you uh, would be, or sorry, the cruises that you would be interested in participating in. I think give a little information about your, um, you know, your scientific interests in the, in the cruise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have people from everywhere. Yeah. So your input is very valuable. And the Nautilus runs all the time, 24-7. Mm. So yeah. having uh, different time zones is also really helpful. Very <laughs> useful. Siphonophore. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just a lot of long, noodle So that's just a long version of my favorite sea dan line. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll see one again. Ooh, <laughs> look at the thing in Atlanta cam. Oh, it's gone.
So we also have some more questions coming in. So what type of plate boundary is mostly found at ocean ridges? Mm, this is an easy one. So they are divergent plate boundaries. So there are three main types of boundaries. Oh, I'm really Sorry, Daniel. Oh, you're good. <laughs> there are main, three main types of um, boundaries throughout the world on Earth's crust. You have divergent, convergent, and transform. And you'll find, once again, divergent plate boundaries at mid-ocean ridges or just ocean ridges where you find the crust is actually separating apart and there's an upwelling of magma that's flowing out onto the crust, literally making new land. And on the other side of that, you have a subduction zone where you find convergent plate boundaries, two, bound two plates colliding with each other and one subducts under the other. Usually this is uh, oceanic crust as it's denser than continental crust and you'll find at subduction zones some of the deepest portions of the planet, such as the Marianas Trench, which is about 11,000 meters below the ocean surface. You could fit all of Mount Everest inside and still have room. So that's how deep it is. And at transform boundaries is where plates slide against each other. And one of the most famous uh, transform uh, boundaries is the San Andreas Fault in California. Mm -hmm. And this is where we get uh, many sources of earthquakes because of these transform faults. Yeah, and if you haven't, if you're curious about this and you haven't looked uh, at Google Earth before to take take this in and to really see where those um, boundaries are, I would recommend that. It's really cool. If you look at the Pacific Ocean, for example, you have what what's called kind of the ring of fire and you can see all the different spots in the Aleutians and your, uh, you know, the Curl Trench near uh, Russia and near uh, off of Japan. You can look and uh, see the Cascadia Margin off of Oregon, Washington, California. You see this ring of all these subducting um, sections of the Pacific Plate where the Pacific Plate is going under other plates. That's cool to see. And then also the, the ridges, you can see the the mid-Atlantic ridge stretches, you know, the whole Atlantic, and you see not just the divergent boundary, but because of the way the Earth is curved and the influence that has on um, that divergence, you see transform faults sticking out from that central divergent boundary. That's, those are really fun, gnarly cracks to look at. Same in the Pacific, the Eastern Pacific rise. Um, yeah, so if you haven't checked that out, fun to look at on Google Earth. Yep. All right, and so another question we have, which country has the longest coastline? Does anybody have any guesses? I think it's Chile. Wait, no, coastline. Or which single country? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, that's so easy. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> <laughs> um, Australia. Canada. Canada. Yep. Oh, says the Canadian. I'm yeah, so yeah. sorry. <laughs> Because of all those islands That's that are true. up north. Oh, sure that. Yeah. That's yeah. the largest country in the world. That helps. There's three oceans on it. Oh yeah. It is so huge. And my favorite is when you're flying on a, like a wow. long haul flight, and you get to go over some obscure section of Canada on your way from whatever. It's all know. obscure. There's only <laughs> only 35 million people but you there, know the and they're really all in little tiny cities, right? Yeah. The little islandy bits up in the northeast that every time I pass over a new area there I'm like glued to the window I want to see what that is because I've spent so much time like stalking out on Google satellite being like yeah. what's that and what's that and there's a national park up there that looks <laughs> crazy how do you even get there yeah like flying over the Rockies is pretty amazing mm. it is very yeah. cool also to see. coming up the west coast where was I going from I think it was maybe somewhere in, in California to mm. like Denver mm. Mm. And then I guess, are you going over the, the Grand Canyon or yeah. something? What is that? Anyway, that, I did that once. That was beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I love flying over the west. Yep. Yeah, I flew so over the Grand fun. Canyon on the way here. Oh, nice. That was nice to see. And it was like interesting. Like 7% after three years. Well, now I want to look at I'd say, Leila, you bought your plane ticket or something, right? And then it just yeah. it did the math and <laughs> right. figured it all it out. Was it was like, like oh, well, perfect. if it, if it well, goes down now, she'll definitely buy a new it. one. They're <laughs> 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 working together. <laughs> oh, another oh, jelly. 
thing. Hmm. Looked like saltwater taffy. All right. Oh, this ground fault is getting brutal. Less than oh, five no. minutes. Ooh. Cool. Almost there. Is saltwater taffy made with salt Ooh, water? Oh, fish. Oh, wait. Ooh, oh, it is yeah, shark. Oh, oh. shark. Shark? Yeah, oh it is gosh. a shark. I don't know what type. Come in Hart's camera. <laughs> yeah. Or just swim Move over. Back. Let us get a stole cam shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, this stole cam shot. And frame it up. <laughs> what direction are we going to start moving in when we, beautiful. once we go? Um, I think one, yeah. uh, 290. That'll go away now in a minute. I turn this all off. We're about 1,359 so we meters. Yeah. So we're kind of, we, yep. we don't need to stick exactly to these waypoints. We're just kind of trying to, um, we're going to explore go. this feature. We're elongating the dive in this way because okay. it's not a huge feature and there wasn't a ton interesting above 1,500 meters at this, um, on this guillot that we wanted to dive. Explorer. So yeah, we're just gonna zig and zag a little bit back and forth over this uh, canyon. It kind of looks like the wall is gonna be more interesting. I'm hoping that there's something there. I'm hoping it is a wall. So we'll probably just head over in that direction first. That's a different ground fault. Got it. Mm. We'll sort that out when we get on the bottom here. Um, we're 60 meters off the bottom. Okay. Um, Cheyenne, have you spoken to Oriel? Is there anything specific you... Mm, I haven't talked specifically, but the current is pretty strong. Mm. Okay. So probably still that 40 meter radius. But that, we can go like towards the wall, like shoot yeah. in between yeah. one and two. Yeah. Uh, mm. could, do you mind communicating with him and just seeing where he's at with that? I don't want to assume restrictions. Slow speed, small ship movements. Okay, great. The J should be fine. Sounds good. Then, uh, yeah, when we get down after they're all checked out and sorted out with ground faults and white balancing and such. We start mm -hmm. slowing down now. I'm at 20 meters. Then yeah. we'll uh, head over towards two or towards the wall over there. Take it down to like 15, Ooh, I guess. Down to okay. sand. Sand. Yeah, stop there. Okay. Ooh. On uh, bottom. And then um, I'm going to back down, and then you'll turn Atlanta around. Okay. Gonna, we're going to start out going west. Okay. So, yeah, just let me know when you're ready. Yep. Bring it to like 14. It starts going in like weird jumps, yeah. What? Uh, Got some housekeeping. Try that. Should we maybe 14, 14 maybe on the ISO down. Other way. Oops. I keep forgetting which one is. Um, try that. Just we'll wait. One. In. It might be a little yeah. dark with the shutter speed where it's at, but yeah, try 200. not great you can still bump ISO back up. Yep. Probably come up another five meters on Atlanta. Right. I know that so this guide also has he, he has suggestions. Oh yeah I wrote that guide. Oh okay. <laughs> you have suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> also I feel like I thought I changed that. And I think now you can come around. As a starting uh, point. 
Hmm. Yeah, keep coming around okay, to... Okay, I uh, should update that because we've since there. decided that having the depth of field be a bit broader is um, beneficial, so higher than nine on that denominator. And turn it around. 270? 290, I think. 290. 290. Okay. Um, did you switch over to DVL yet? Uh, not yet. Go ahead. Models are all off. There we go. Yeah, that's Dork. dark. Yeah. Let's. Oh wait. Do um 3200 on the ISO. Okay. And yeah. Good. Great. DVL is all. You can bring that shutter right? speed. Yeah, one slower if you want to see that. <clears throat> okay. All right, I got to chase this ground fault for a minute here first. Sounds good. Uh, I'll give that a try. Um, wow, that's why is this so dark? We're like over sand. I'm going to kill the uh, I wouldn't go any higher than 4,000 on that. It starts getting grainy. Oh, you're going to lose your DSC camera. Yeah. Actually, I'll leave it on for a second. Uh, that's that's it. It's fine. Can we? If you need to check it, let us know. Yeah, see what that's like. I imagine if we, once we're clo closer up yeah. to stuff, right, we right. could, uh, Make that faster again. Yep. Yeah. Let's, yeah, I'll just wait. What are we? What we're, does like, we're, yeah, like five, four meters off on him. Yeah. What does the F stop do again? You oh, said rain. Look, a little fish. Yeah, yeah. it controls. Um, ooh. A little, little sharky. What are you? Your um, aperture, how much light you're letting in. There's a shark. Yeah. No, oh, okay, okay. Come this way. Yeah, come here, shark. It's only like two types um. of sharks. <laughs> really? Ever at all in the ocean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the cool ones for and the ones that eat you. <laughs> They're all cool. Temp probe is on. Temp oh, probe. Be on. Oh, it comes on automatically. I forgot to turn it off. That was an epic shot. Whoever got this. Yeah. I know. I was looking oh at my that gosh. too. I was like, I want to be there on that dive. Yeah. Oh, that's gnarly. Woo. Whoa. Man. Yeah. Looks like a mako. Yeah. So these are pictures that people got like on their dive. Uh, yeah, Okeanos Explorer pictures. Mm, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cycle the DSC. Okie okay. dokie. Um, Raman, folks, can I cycle, can we cycle your instrument? Turn it on and off. Chasing a ground fault around. They need to prep a little. Okay. Let me get it ready to shut down. Hold on a second. Yeah. I'm going to do the octans because that was. I don't like turning that off. Okay. Octans off. Okay. You're good to shut down. Okay. What's up with the screens right now? Uh, I think he turned off some stuff. Mm. Doesn't seem to be that. Kind of back on. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna cycle the ramen off. Ethernet bottle. Oh, hold on. Yeah, what was that? It got better. Hold on. It might be the ramen. It's looking like it. But that only appeared like closer to the bottom, right? Because at first it was just craft arm. Yeah. Uh, so the, the ground fault sense is like just shows you the worst one basically. Mm. So while we were chasing the craft and we got this 20k one at about 300 meters from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I blamed it on the craft for a while. But um, it appears to be the ramen. Can I turn it back on? Give them one sec. I, I'm having them troubleshoot some cable stuff for me. Yep. Yeah, you're good to turn it back on. Okay, ramen coming on. I'm just going to, if I see the fault again, mm -hmm. I'm going to send a cycle everything else back on here. Uh, that's all good. Oh. Yeah. oh. Did you get left over there too? It's not still cam, it's the ramen. Recording that, yeah. So it's probably still that that cable that no, lasted the one the dive. Issue. Layla. What was that? Let me do it as an engineering issue or just kind of um, support it. Yeah, and as an instrument. Can you move that bubble camera around, Sarah? Uh, It'll just adjust oh, the other iris automatically. Instrument. I'll just click it on like a preset or something. It should be, should do it. There we go. Um, we can relaunch still cam now. Yeah, that's all back on. Yeah. Okay, I'm going for a white balance. Green tape is looking sad. Go ahead and zoom. <laughs> it's also trippy looking. So I'd try and take pictures with the manip in there. It's still dark, you said? All right, we're gonna go black first. Sure. Why is it so dark? It's also not focused. Can you just come up five meters or so? Um, okay, shutter speed's Three or four at slower. least. I mean, yeah, try that. Could also, yeah, bring 
f-stop yeah you can change that a little i mean that will certainly help i'm just surprised we can't do it this high because usually we do yeah, well unless we're really 11. spread out then you can go lower yeah all right thanks for your patience yeah, yeah. okay we're good thank you Yeah, if you press autofocus and take the picture right after, it should be okay if the thing hasn't moved too much. Porch out. That looks good. Um, I'd just leave it. Um, so is Ram and decommission? Is Dive bought decommissioned? I'm just going to talk to the guys there for yeah. a second. Um, I don't want it to be. And I. What the? Oh! Oh! Yeah, not Come back! Oh! oh. It looks like what I thought I saw. No, still in there. Oh, he's checking it out. Where? Goes oh, in the out of land to just now. There oh he is. My gosh. Oh, where? Oh, no, come oh, down. Come to the camera. Come back. Because he just maxed straight into the camera first. That would be incredible. Yeah. Oh, that just doesn't like it in there. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem to stay oh. very well. Maybe that'll coax it a bit. Hold on here. A, that was a really long tentacle, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Wondering if it was. No. It was, ooh, 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 there. Oh, wow. it is a squid, I think. Get ready for these pictures. Looks like it has tentacles. Gosh. Look up. Let me look up. Yeah, look up out of the window. It's a squid. Um, come back, squid. Um, about the ramen instrument. So it's it's pretty solid at like 25k ground is not is not good. I I think if I understand from previous conversations, are you you guys content that you're isolated from that? How do you uh, feel from your perspective? Our instrument's isolated from that. Uh, talking to Dan from last time, it's probably that short run cable, that 1.5 meter cable. So I'm okay continuing operating with it. So we saw it come and go before too, and the last time we turned it off on descent and then everything cooled down too much, right? So uh, for me, from my perspective, I'm inclined to leave it on uh, and see how it goes. Can it be cycled on and off without uh, your, your stuff in the bottle getting too cold? Uh, I think we've figured out that solution. So I think uh, if you'd like to periodically turn it off or something like that, we can. I would if we can, like if there's areas where it's not oh. being used and if it's not gonna affect it for the dive, oh. yeah. I'd like to turn it off then and then just go on off if that works? Yeah, we could give that a try. Okay. Is it over you know. sandy portions that you're less interested in it being on, or where? Would yeah, you we're more interested in the corals and the rocks yeah. than the sand. So we could uh, at maybe every 20 minutes turn it on, and I'll do a temperature check or something like that if we're just flying over sand. And I'll okay, so turn are you going to turn it off now, or are you running checks or anything? Uh, you, could, uh, you could go ahead and turn it off now. Okay, just uh, just remind me if I forget or I'll call it out every 20 minutes or so, we'll, we'll run it. Sounds okay. like a good plan. 
Um, Cheyenne, whenever folks are ready. Going off. We can we go. All ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. Eh? Okay. All right. Let's head towards two, roughly, towards that wall. So if you are all just tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We're in currently about uh, 1,440 meters below the ocean surface. Did and you we are exploring three, is that what you And we are exploring an unnamed guillot right outside the Pacific Rim Islands Marine National Monument. We had just been uh, taking care of some technical difficulties with our right. uh, laser dive bot, but we are good to go. Cheyenne, was that last one a point three? Okay, great, thanks. Yes, it was. Perfect. Could we look to the left? To the left? I thought I saw something dark. Fish. Oh, yeah. the shark. Mm. Is it a sharky? I think it is, yeah. Oh my gosh. Dreams do really come we true. We want pictures. We want zooms. <laughs> come here. Oh, they're so beautiful. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Ooh, oh, so oh. cute. Looks like a pentankity. Pen yep, I'll put it in the chat. The only dark. It's so hard to. That's the only the only yeah. one at this depth and dark. So down a little on Atlanta. So how do we know this is a shark? What about is like sticking out that? Oh, this is a shark. The back it's fin motion and fin. And yes, the the yeah. I think we're good here. Nose, so it's like that nose shape. Yeah. yeah, it's the big tapered fin in the back and mm -hmm. kind of the. You kind of just know. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the wedge shaped fins. Well, bony yes. bony fish Ooh. have symmetrical um, intel caudal caudal fins which mm -hmm. is the the very end tail um and sharks will have unsymmetrical so you notice the top of the caudal fin was bigger than the bottom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there was some sort of thing sticking up but um all right mm. that's a lonely shark yeah fish do not uh swim like Shrimp. that Fish kind of swim, like sharks kind of have like a little, I don't know, like a wiggly oh, pattern. Another oh, another shark. There's a oh, lot oh. trucking oh. around. It's got a friend. Here. Why do we have, we have so many charismatic or species so far? I no, I think it is. Uh, yeah. yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Another one. Oh. Looks very close to the, uh, the sand there. Yes. Oh, I'm out. We're starting off good. Oh, it's wow! I spelled that wrong. Sorry. What the shark? Yeah, let me correct myself. Actually, we can get that to a genus. So let me just type that in. So, how big does the shark look to us? Maybe about like a oh half meter long. A half meter, yeah. Oh. Yep. He's not happy. No. no. I don't like that. Scared darn, him. Darn, darn, darn. <laughs> <laughs> about the size of a five dollar foot long at Subway. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a cool squid we saw in the beginning. Does it not? I feel like I I feel mixed about claiming any of, of oh, yeah? these because mm -hmm. there's okay. multiple hold on small dark oh you're so right actually mine's outdated oh okay. he's back it seems like there's more than one so we might find others around here I would lay off on the, on yeah, the shark ID. Yeah, just kidding. A shark. Dark shark. Actually, it... Oh, yeah, there's a bunch. 
kind of looks like that second one you brought up, but mm -hmm. we didn't get a... Ooh, so many. Uh, oh. Yeah, I can't really see. Yeah, shadow. So cool. But yeah, most of the sharks we've seen have been oceanic white tip sharks, but this is the uh, probably newest species we've seen so far. I think I'm actually no, inclined to say it is this one, just based on the head shape. Yeah. See how that its eyeball is really close to the head, and this one quite isn't. Mm. But yeah, we can. We didn't really get a I good feel picture. Like from from just a few pictures, it can be very hard to. Oh, there's. Uh oh. Yep. Ooh, there's there two different ones one. in it. So yeah, oh, I think those, those are the same two both. we were those seeing. Those are the two we've seen, but they do look different from mm -hmm. one another. We have both. Very cool. Starting to get chilly in the van. Yeah. <laughs> I find it's between t-shirt and sweater weather. Yeah, it is. Yep. All the time. It is. Sweatpants weather right now, too. I'm it so used to be sad. like a refrigerator. I brought. Oh, it was like, so cold. I bring blankets. Yeah, I have my huge sweater here, and I'm like looking at it every day in the room. I'm like, why is this here? It's like <laughs> half a bag. <laughs> but there was a time. It's kind of like when. It's raining outside, and then you make an, and you forget your rain jacket, and make a note, remember rain jacket, and the next day it just doesn't rain. Yeah. Yeah, it was raining just now when we were about to launch, and I was like, I'm not sitting in the crane in that rain. And I put on my rain jacket, and of course it stopped raining. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah. Better to have it and not need it than to yeah. need it and not have it. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I always say. But then that's how I overpack. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, I severely underpacked for this, and I usually severely overpack, and I'm really regretting it. I don't have sweatpants. I literally only brought shorts and jeans, and I'm not wearing jeans. <laughs> oh, no, I, was, I stay in sweatpants, so that's always going to be an essential to me. <laughs> yeah, I also got to get some new ones, so that's why... No, it's funny because I actually have Arben sweatpants that I'll be wearing on campus. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite pair of sweatpants I wore until like, how do I put this? The inside area was like completely ripped out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, really? Gold Pilot Syrup. Is that a you problem, Cheyenne? It's making bad sounds. What? Am I, do I sound weird? No. Cheyenne, it's a you problem. <laughs> okay, good. I was scared. I was like, is my hair out again? No, you're good. And woohoo, Sarah! Find the sharks, Sarah. <laughs> Manifest sharks. We gotta get that good picture. Well, shark. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, shark. <laughs> That's my only hope now. Now that uh, they don't have chocolate chip cookies on board. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only hope. I feel like we just shouldn't have asked. No, <laughs> I no, I was hoping. getting really sad truth. hoping. No, yeah, no, I needed to. I'm glad Paula, Paula did ask because I. Could we fly I a little lower down if possible? Want to make sure we're Ooh. not missing any little fun stuff. Right. Sorry, which. Oh, Jesus, wow. Oh. Which oh. camera do you want down? The. Uh, oh, no, I was just, just saying Herc. flying Herc a little yeah. lower if possible. Yeah, I'm trying to. Take it down no, you're good. Give her a moment. Yes. Just cut in there. <laughs> you're good. So Just demanding. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. No, no. I'm I'm clarifying, so that you know, sometimes I feel like we don't we don't clarify enough. 
Oh, like, look at this fun look little it. friend. It's a little star, I think. Pretty far away now, Sarah. Try and, oh, yeah. try and get back. It's coming towards you. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Looks mm -hmm. like it's falling. A little something. Is it tough navigating like Herc and Atlantis? Atalanta. Atlanta. Shaky. That was shaky, a question shaky. for you pilots. <laughs> Tough to navigate them? Yeah. To pilot them? I wouldn't say so. Well. The fine manip work looks. <coughs> it's, a little, it's a little annoying. Like, uh, you can't go very far away from Atlanta. It's easy to forget that. Mm. It's there. Yeah, check that out. Whalebone! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Just kidding. Imagine. I feel like <clears throat> this would be a perfect place for something what? like that. What? This would be a perfect place for a whale fall too. Yeah. But that, what, is it the four-day watch has gotten like three or four whale bones? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta catch up. We gotta catch up. Damn. This is a weird. Oh, we got a cucumber urchin? too. Urchin. Ooh. It's big. It what's is that, a big boy. What's that behind it? A holothurian behind it. A big and so yeah. Like turn, yeah, starboard towards just that. Yeah. Can we take a look at that uh, anemone, Sarah? Or urchin, I mean. All right. So what are we kind of hoping to find on this dive? Oh, shark. Aside from Another sharks. <laughs> which All are of our dives are exploratory. Surprise. We don't really go into them With hoping a for a specific Santa. thing, but we are hoping to, okay. uh, to, to pick features where there might be more dense communities right of coral or sponges um, so that we can get a better idea of where those are and what what species they harbor. Right. Um, and we're also looking to collect samples that will allow us to analyze the potential origins of this seamount. Mm -hmm. And for that, we, which Ooh. has been pro proven to be a pretty hard task to um, find rocks that are not oh, there it is. totally altered inside, but still retain some of that initial igneous rock. Yeah. Okay. Just fly until they tell you. Okay. Okay. And we're just generally hoping to inform um, what this, we're hoping oh. to, to expand our knowledge of what this <laughs> area of the Pacific Ocean looks like. Could we zoom on this urchin, please, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> the shark yeah, is, is so a, cute. It's also a holothurian in there, too. Yeah, sea cucumber. I swear it looked like a leaf for a second. <laughs> or a bar of soap. Something. Yeah. What's up with the camera? Oh, it just exported the photo. I was looking at the shark. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Just can't just that while you're focusing. Yeah, can you put your mic a little closer? Oh. Thank you. Can zoom in video. Thank so you. I would go down on ISO if anything. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's in the weird corner, so Should it's gonna be not yeah. totally Lift clear. Up. Got some. And you can if you. Oh, the f-stop's back up. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so in good. there you can see there's a sea pen, there's a yeah. holtarian, there's this urchin. Are you able to it's a big urchin. Big urchin. How big are we talking? Oh, like 15 um, centimeters or okay, there we go. a little oh. more. Oh yeah. Don't know what type. I mean, I'm just Ooh. assuming it's a kind of thurid. It's 
It's very purple. Mm, yeah, super dark. Yeah, it's a very deep purple. Then maybe, do we want to look at the sea cucumber? Sure, let's peek up there quick. And this pen, maybe, also while we're at it. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. All right. Cucumber. Why are they oh, called sea cucumbers? Way, is it just because like, it's shaped like oh, a cucumber? Oh boy, why is it? <laughs> um, um, yeah. yeah. Like running okay. away. If I need to but get there, these are both the kind of drops. Both of the things we're zooming on. In, yes. On. They're right. in the you same phylum. phylum. It's very touchy. All right. Video. Try and zoom. Thank you. I have to get the hang of this guy. Woohoo! It looks like sediment. Well, that is very colorful. <laughs> <laughs> Stand out. <laughs> okay, I think we're, good. we're good there, thanks. Right. Do it look like it's moving at all? No. No. Take a little nip. Sedentary lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what I gotta get. Just sitting down here, chilling. This one, perhaps? Okay. Too spiny, I think. There's a little spiny. This one is, oh, actually, no, nope, that might be. Compared to all the other yeah, ones, kind of. There we go. Doesn't right. look With like all these. these, I'll be like, possible. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to claim that it is. <coughs> okay. Do we want to do possible? Just, this just tap it. Or yeah. what's the larger group there? The I uh, like if what? Okay. We go. It's just other. Oh, I can okay. Google it. All right. It's okay. We could say possible means other. Yeah. 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 That's so let me put this uh, over here. Do you mind turning us back on? We'll do a health check. Roger, stand by one. It's already two. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, time flies. Time. Halfway there. When you're having fun on the sand. Ooh, time just descends. Ascends. Yeah. There's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> So we've got people tuning in oh, wow. from all around the world. A bit and more to the west. Good morning, everybody in the U.S. Yeah. For those who are tuning in, we also got people from South Africa, and Germany, Italy. Can we see what's off to the right a little bit. Even Serbia and Puerto Rico. <gasps> One of our interns yeah. is from Puerto there, Rico. and she just had a birthday. So feliz cumpleaños! I'm gonna come out right under you. Yeah, there's something right up here. Yeah. What do we got? It hey. is Umbalula. Woohoo! Sea pen. Okay. Pretty. Another one of those big urchins. Mm hmm. Googled the yeah, possible name further. Okay. I got right. All right. Should oh. be coming up here. Yes, it did. All right. Sorry, I'm really late, Loopy, but I'm putting what that sea cucumber might have been in the chat. Thank you, There's another one of those, maybe? Yeah. Another so sedimentary. I'm always oh, looking. maybe another shark up there? Oh, yeah. Perhaps. Okay. Interesting sandy flat, too. Yeah. Yeah. Different from other sandy flats. Oh, that's it's weird. Ooh, what is, is that? that? Lobster? <gasps> what is that? That's, that's a big a old arthropod. That is freaking huge. Huge arthropod. Massive. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, look at those what? swimmers in the world. Wow, how big are we thinking? Maybe also a foot long? I or mean, half a meter less? Try and get close to it. Oh wow, look at those swimmers. Um, kind of, I mean, to me that looks like 20 inches, which is huge for a shrimp. 20 centimeters? Right. Or yes, 20 centimeters. Amber, you wanna try? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Ta -da. Slow down. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow, and you can see those uh, giant. That's a big Beautiful. long antennae reaching back. Wow. And two big ones up front. Yes. That's got to be very characteristic. Oh my gosh. We're starting to see animals. <laughs> I mean, that's a Characteristics. Uh, right. Charismatic species, yeah. Bring it back out. Wow. All right. Thanks. Those long antennae, too. That's a big old shrimp. Zigzag back. Yep. Kind of zigzag back over. No, this oh, one. Oh, it's um, an aris. Mm. So it looks like the ground fault didn't come back. Okay. Come back better picture. This one. Sorry, I'm not on comms. Yeah, so I figured as much because I noticed that last time it was intermittent. Sometimes there's yeah, a little bit of something one. in there and it gets squeezed. Look at the so. swimmers. Looking good. Were the they swimmers thick? Thick, yeah. They don't okay. Thick. Put that around. Group, maybe. Around. Oh, 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 this one? There we go. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay, so it's the same back in the family. I'd put that family, yes. maybe. Aristeidae. Cool. Really cool. Got an idea on what that was? Yeah, we're thinking, and it's an Aristeid. Family. This is a shrimp. That's the family, Arm. yes. Do Not quite sure about anything further than family, but yeah. Do you mind spelling that for me real quick? A R I S mm -hmm. T E I D. Mm -hmm. That's it. And do you have a salt? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> kind of got it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's that. Did you get a still cam pick? It's not great, but because it was fast, but um, oh, nice looks though. pretty. Right. Those look pretty. You can go a little faster on the shutter speed. Yeah. Okay. By, so if you want for those close things. Yeah, just it keep was. Keep it more queued up for that. Yeah. Right. Cool. ISO up. If you think it's necessary. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's something. Oh, to what's that to the left there? If you're able. It's right at the edge of. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know. Um. So, Divebot team, is is the Divebot still on? No, it's off now, right? No, no it's on. Oh, it is yeah, on. on. The Divebot is back on. Um. On this section, I'm kind of inclined to stay a little bit lower down so we can see more of what's on the sand. Is that okay for you, even though we're kind of flying like one and a half meters right now? Yeah, that's fine. We're not going to be getting any science data and right on now this anyways. Po portion. Okay. Yeah. Right. We might still fire the laser and get okay. non-focused so data. Just to see how far you are. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, see how far away you are. What's that in front of us? Oh, yeah. So Here, I need coming back over. Yeah, they want to look at that, though. Um, Oops. Oh, it's just another on Oh, okay. That's okay, just okay Sarah. Sarry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. It's no, all you're good, Sarah. So we don't need to look at that. We're no. good. No? Okay. Okay. Do you need to get ahead, Sarah? Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting out in front of. Yeah. Yep. Let us know when you're caught right. up. Are you guys okay. doing your laser streaming yet or no? There we go. Just got it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.
I'm about at 1.8 1 meters altitude right now. That's good. Yeah, and Sarah, as we go, if you see any big things, just turning towards them is <clears throat> okay. nice. Looks like another Umbalula. Yeah, just fly by. We'll fly by ID stuff and let you know if we're hoping for a zoom on anything. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, let me know if you want me to stop mm -hmm. anywhere. Turn back around. So for those of yeah. you at Sorry, home back. watching, tuning in, yeah, we're curious about shot. where we look to find our uh, identifications for species, if you go to oceanexplorer.noaa.gov, they have a website about benthic deepwater animals, and they have an updated guide that talks about all sorts of animals and it found in the deep sea. And Not totally up to the guy, but it's pretty good guy. Yeah, yeah, it's the best we got. Yep. So it's a helpful guide if you want to kind of follow along, look, look at through. what this is in front of us? Yeah. Either of these two patches. These. Back up a little. <coughs> Just set her down. It'll let me. There we go. Oops. Ooh, I'm gonna get a little shrimp. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it gets weird. All right. Um. Look at these guys. Yep. Yeah. These. No. I'm just going to give it a second because I have no idea. I was going to say, is it maybe a sediment pile? On the left, it kind of looks like it, the All far right. left. Video, oh, you want to zoom? You're right. Random detritus? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's just weird there are two of them yeah, right there. Maybe it is a worm. I don't know. Why is it so con? Cave, uh, at both of them yeah, too. Yeah, it is touchy. Concave, right? There's a little pit Maybe right it there. is a worm. If I mean, if it's so filtering strange. sediment, but that's where the green fluffy thing. Mm. The next one is yeah the same too. Okay, well we've documented that. Okay. <laughs> Do you Pile. Check the other one. Um, uh, I think we're all good. Good. But just okay. looking at it, it's like yeah. another depression with that in the middle. Oh Maybe yeah. just, yeah. Thanks. So I got a question for the laser I dive bot so. team when you get a chance. Yeah. Okay. Sure, Here what's up? Good. So what's with the Raman spectrometer, um, when it takes its data, is it, what? what's the unit of measurement for that? Like say, you're looking at a spectra of different minerals and elements. Would you look at it in, say, parts per million, or what kind of concentration are you looking at? Uh, it is essentially counting photons, okay. and uh, we have the about 10 to the fourth, um, some number, like, you know, right now we just took a sample that was, we have ranges of like 1.25 times 10 to the fourth. Um, we're, we're Counting, essentially you're counting photons. Which is remarkable, uh, given how short our, our exposure is. Uh, yeah, am I still getting feedback? Yeah, What's it's up? a little strange. Yeah. It's okay though, it's just a weird okay. noise. Uh, I think I'm better will fix my audio. Yeah, there's multiple of these depressions. They have to be some sort of something. Some, something sticking around in there. Something, yeah. something.
Pretty sandy. It is very sedimenty. Sedimenty. Sandy, sedimenty, same thing. <laughs> could also call it clastic material. Mm -hmm. What material? Clastic. Clastic. Yep. Okay, that's a new one for me. <laughs> it's just another one of those like geology terms for different yeah. types of uh, substrates that we see. Yeah, what makes it's basically something sand. I was about to say, is does clastic uh, refer to something that's really like fine? Well, it more refers to um, grains. So oh. grains can be anything from very fine, little. from like mm -hmm. smaller than a millimeter, all the way up to say even boulder sized. Mm. So it's just a, you know, a big coverall term for, you know, grains. I'm so intrigued by these oh, weird maybe, brown yeah, patches. Take a note on those. Yeah, I got a picture of it, kind of, but yeah. um, cavities everywhere with. Okay. You said what? Just what we've been zooming in on. However, you want to describe that, and that we've check, been check, seeing a lot check. of those throughout. Is it here. better? It's not. So it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll let Kevin speak for us today. And a lot of these urchins. Yeah. <laughs> Laser dive out team, if you have more to say, feel free to continue. Yes. Not quite. They're swapping legs. But, yeah, not a lot of diversity from what we're seeing, but a good amount of stuff for sediment, for at sand, least. Yeah. We're about halfway through the sand. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is far. From Ye one end to the other, I wasn't didn't have such a grasp on how far that would be. I well, we bet we're not gonna zig and zag back and forth across this too many times. Yeah, we landed. We like started at waypoint one, but then we went forward quite a lot during deployment. So that's why we we're so far back. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, but I mean, looking at waypoint three and yeah. five and stuff, for example, those are way off in the in the woods. <laughs> we could just count the... In the rhubarb. Yeah. yeah. We could just count the sharks on this, like, flat. <laughs> Do it. I said there's a whole bag of snacks there. Oh. What's that? <laughs> okay. All right, water break, everybody. We'll get my water break. <clears throat> More like a tea break. So, well, 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 let's do a check here. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. we got you. Yeah. Perfect. Amber, fix it. Thank you, Amber. So Pablo, I have a question. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so whenever we're, we get around to using the spectrometer, if you have a moment, do you mind explaining it in Spanish, like what the spectrometer is and what it does? Oh, that's right. That's right. I owed you that one from the last dive. Uh, yeah. So uh, maybe do it now, uh, if it's a good time. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, we could take some clips now, we or we could wait till we use spectrometer, either one. Well, we're using it now. Uh, I think if you look at the Atalanta pictures, you can see the laser in the back. Uh-huh. Uh, we're a little too close. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you, see, do you see the little spark there on the back, near the bumper? Yes, I see it. Yeah, so we're using it now. And um, so lo que, lo que estamos haciendo para los oyentes que hablan mi idioma, uh, es, eh, utilizamos un láser y uh, enfocamos eh, el láser en el target, la muestra que queremos analizar, y esto puede ser agua o arena o rocas, como veremos luego, o corales. Y lo que está pasando es que 
eh, fotones del láser van a interaccionar con la muestra, con el agua, la arena, las corales y las rocas, y van a rebotar hacia nuestra cámara y vamos a poder analizar diferentes colores del láser eh, en vuestra pantalla. No sé si podréis ver desde la cámara del Atalanta en alguno de los canales. Eh, en la parte trasera del, del vehículo hay un láser que se puede ver eh, pulsando. Es como pequeñas balas de, de luz, si queréis. Y uh, lo que hace es, tenemos una, una cámara que lee esos pulsos, eh, los que salen y los que vuelven rebotados. Y esa diferencia de medidas entre los que emitimos y los que recibimos nos da pistas sobre de qué está compuesto el, el material. Si es, en este caso, cuarzo y arena, estamos viendo en la señal. Cuando vemos algún coral, vemos señales de pigmentos orgánicos y cuando vemos roca, vemos señales minerales. Uh, siempre, 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 bajo el agua, tenemos señales de agua. Lo que es bueno, porque eso nos indica que estamos funcionando y tenemos algo para calibrar siempre el instrumento. Así que, esta técnica se llama eh, Raman eh, Spectroscopy, Spectroscopia Raman, y también hacemos fluorescencia, que es otro fenómeno diferente, pero también eh, utiliza la luz para analizar la, las muestras. Así que, eh, con esto espero que a los hispanohablantes, como yo, os haya quedado un poco más claro eh, qué es lo que hacemos. Y ahora de nuevo veis el láser aquí en la, en la imagen. Y uh, si tenéis alguna pregunta en, en español, uh, Daniel está aquí conmigo para, para leérmela. Y si no, uh, seguimos en inglés, yo creo, para que todos hablamos bien, pero uh, un placer hablar mi idioma <ríe> con todos vosotros. Uh. All right. Gracias. That Thank was you. great. What was the verb that you used for firing the laser? That was the one word that I was like, well, that's new. Uh, huh, uh, what beginning. did I use? Uh, 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 ¿Emitimos o, o enfocamos? I don't know what it uh, ¿Disparamos? Dis maybe that's what it was. ¿Disparar? ¿To fire? Uh, okay. ¿Disparar? Uh, re realmente lo que tenemos, eh, vuelvo a hablar en mi idioma porque mm -hmm. está yeah. bien, mm -hmm. es, imaginaos un, es como una pistola y en vez de ser un láser como los que ves en, en clase ¿no? o, o los que utilizas para jugar con los gatos, mm -hmm. para que sigan la luz, este láser, eh, en vez de ser continuo, es pulsado. Por eso lo veis en la, en la imagen eh, blip, 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 blip. So, mm. Veis pequeñas balas de, de luz, realmente. Y cada una de esas balas la estamos midiendo. Eh, por eso cuando decía antes que es remarcable que veamos tantos fotones en la cámara, eh, teniendo en cuenta que, que hay la ventana de, de fotones, la ventana de luz es tan pequeña, que es casi casi imposible de ver. Uh, así que realmente es una demostración de, de cómo podemos avanzar la tecnología para, para ver estas cosas en el fondo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y Daniel, if you want, I can explain that in a little bit later in in English if you if you feel uh, mm -hmm. that we have uh, uh, users from from English speaking countries, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Great. I think we got it last awesome. time, but we can also go over it again if you like. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me, let's let's give give the listeners a break from my voice. Sure. <laughs> yeah. and let's talk ice cream. Let's talk ice cream and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, more fun. Yeah. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Yeah, you didn't give your responses yeah. earlier. You both. Oh, did. that's right. That's right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say um, uh, I've taken to uh, soy based ice creams lately. Um, oh. I, I like my milk, but uh, you know, I think it seems like uh, ice cream makers. Is, is there a word for them? Like yeah, sure. Gelateriers, I guess. I don't know. Is that right? Yeah, no, it's just ice cream maker. Uh, okay, maker they, they're yeah. taking to be more exotic. So there is a place uh, where I live in St. Louis, in Missouri, que hace, uh, sorry, that makes, I go back to Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, this, this, these people, they, they, they start using a lot of soy-based products to make ice cream, and they're making one that is uh, lemon-based with uh, a poppy seed oh uh, on top, and it's to die for. That's oh. unbelievable. So that's currently my favorite. Uh, Have you tried other non-dairy, like uh, oat-based yeah, or, Amber was talking or about oat. coconut milk-based? So the best... Oh. Yeah, there? You're, you're good. Okay. The best ice cream in Seattle uh -huh. is Frankie and Joe's. It's okay. a vegan ice cream okay. and it is so creamy. Like okay. you, you is ate it, oat? it What's you it? would what? Is it oat based? Oat it's oat made out of I think it's like a combination of coconut okay, and stuff. Right. I don't know. But if you're ever in Seattle, Shrimp. Frankie and Joe's Frankie doesn't Joe's. matter which one you get. It is okay. so good. Okay. And I definitely <laughs> am not vegan, but I that's the best ice good cream. Good to know. 
Let's see. I'm so I'm curious now. I'm putting it in my map. I have like a ridiculous Google map full of pins of everywhere I want to go. And that's uh. Speaking right. of being curious, is there literally any way that we could figure out what these little like? What these the little depressions are? Yeah. With the brown in it, like I'm assuming, like we don't need a sample of it. Like I can't even find anything online that resembles it. And we don't think it's waste from sharks. I don't or know. Waste from a worm that's living below. Or the only or way to figure out if it's a worm is to like dig it up. Yeah, it's just the concavities that but make me yeah. feel like it's, it's like true. it's always a circular concavity with it in the center. That's why I'm like, mm. it does seem odd maybe, coming out of the pattern. Like time. right here. No, no, go ahead, Amber, please. I was gonna say maybe it's sample time. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, just do a push core right there. I was about to say. Stop. Stop. I don't know. Wait, They're just so weird. We could. How do you feel sure. about yeah, that? Let's, let's try it. Um, maybe this. Maybe stop the ship and get ahead. To, or, or yeah, wherever. wherever. There's tons of them. I was about so. to say. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah, we got one right in front of you, right? Yep. Or so we, we, we might get lucky and get a worm. Yeah, stop the ship. Yep. Cool. I'm just so curious about it. <laughs> Did I've you never get that seen the this. Maybe we'll uh, get a <laughs> half of a Awesome, worm thank you. Okay, we're stopped. Oh. All right, okay, it is. Okay. A little bit closer. I also Googled. I Googled. Try and put it in the middle. So, what kind of sample are we getting? Yeah. Um, let's try for a push core on, on that. What's that website you're looking at? I want I to check it out. For nice. Oh, also to complete the ice cream conversation, yeah. our ship driver Oriole's favorite ice cream is chocolate. <laughs> yes, right. We were talking about <laughs> yes. that. He's like, the the darker the better. He said too. Yep. Is that one you almost need the scoop for? I don't know. Uh, push core, please. Push core. Oh, push core. I, like, I like chocolate That's cake. Right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you the hardest sample type <laughs> <laughs> right away. Yeah, unfortunately, this stuff doesn't core very well, the sediment, but yeah, we'll I try. There's no and if it's not good, we will scoot to the next one and yep. move around with the with the. We can always see if, bag. if a worm falls out. I've been kind of thinking mm -hmm. about a push core in general, though, so we're going to at least try. <laughs> yep. Oh, what sample number is this? 104. 104. Awesome. Oh, we're in the 100s now. Yeah, we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Switch the camera. We're making the progress. Yeah, like six of those are push cores that didn't work. As well. <laughs> 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 Literally. That's crazy. Yeah. Literally a um. Our fridge. Did, but I couldn't see it. <laughs> I think I flew over the park that I worked at, which is cool. Oh, Bryce, nice. Yeah, Bryce Canyon. It's honestly whenever I sit in a plane and they have the screen. I'm like, yes, I'm going to stare at the map the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm always looking out the window, and I'm like, oh, if only I knew where that was. Mm -hmm. That's why I love the window seat. It's so sad when you're, like, in the middle seat. Yes. And then someone, yeah. and then they close the and window. And they close the window shade. Especially people, if they're not sleeping. And then they, it's like, what are you doing? People pay hundreds of dollars mm -hmm. for short <laughs> helicopter flights, you know, in one little oh. spot. Ooh. And then you... You have this like kind of it's not not free you paid for it to get from one place to the other but you have this like complimentary aerial view Movie. of like the whole United States. Yeah. And people just close the window shade. The bullet train is on. Oh, I would <laughs> kill for the, a bullet, bullet train. Movie. Yeah. Very important. Very important. Bullet trains. Man, I mean, the would window kill. But then you get places screen. way too fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. They get clear on the screen, right? Gotta, gotta <laughs> shut that shade. <laughs> Come on now. It's also a good That's movie. That's true. Yeah, no, on my way over here, I was on the outside seat and had two people on the inside. So it was like... Me too. As soon as we like... Oh, I will lean over them. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we like got to where it was like, 
Yeah, you were like in Hawaii and like they literally opened the shade, peaked and just put it right back down. No. I'm like, no. Oh. I was like, I wanted to see. So I had to like look over like at other people's windows or so to try to see Hopefully something. Hopefully your takeoff will be better. I was in like the, the center, like there was like a center aisle, I guess. Mm. And on the oh, like no. aisle side yeah. of the center, if that makes sense. That's so I was nightmare. like a little bit too far away to see. <laughs> But it's okay. If you're gonna have the window, you should be a good steward. Like if it's yeah. if it's all cloudy and stuff, okay, close it. <laughs> right. Yeah. People sleep sure. in, close it. But um, if you want to have a real airplane racket conversation, yeah. How does everybody feel about reclining in economy class? <laughs> about oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I I am like you should check that the person behind you doesn't have their laptop open before yeah. you do that because whenever the laptop's open on the table and someone reclines, I've had my screen almost like get cracked from them just <gasps> suddenly cranking back. It's like no, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I think it's all about being mindful. It's a hard one. Like yeah. on a long haul flight, you gotta yeah. try and sleep. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. back issues and all that. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you would know about class. that. Yeah. <laughs> but also, tall girl problems here. Knees are already hitting, so. <laughs> 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 like, if they're leaning back, oh man. <laughs> See, as soon as one person leans back, the person behind them leans back, the person yeah. behind yeah, them leans back. I don't. <laughs> I think overnight, it's like, like overnight when the lights are yeah. off, okay, maybe yeah. that's fine. But yeah. I don't I don't get it otherwise. No, the rest of the time I don't. And I actually sleep better without being reclined. I try and like wedge myself in a ball between the seats. I don't, I don't think people realize you're getting, well, how many degrees are you getting, right? You're getting nothing. You're, you're getting, getting so nothing. close to nothing. You're taking <laughs> everything from the person. Everything. You're getting a smidge of everything. <laughs> you were getting nothing and, and then you were the person everything. in the back now is just like, why? Like, I just had half of nothing <laughs> removed from me. And then I can't they, even breathe anymore. Uh, <laughs> then it's a long haul flight and they just want to give you snacks and not a meal sometimes. Okay, that's another thing that's changed. You used to get like regular meals on flights. I forgot what, which one I was just on, but it was like, it was totally freaking dinner time. We had totally left at like 3 p.m. <laughs> and, <laughs> <then we> <laughs> and then we, we, that was we, we were past anymore. like 10 p.m. And yeah, they were like, here is a, a cracker. Like, oh, what? See, Where's it's dinner? You, you have, have to, to like buy the box or something. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's like a snack no. box at that. It's, it's just enough to, to bring the... Yeah. Did you guys know that you can bring food into the airport? Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I do yeah. all the time. Yeah. I like, didn't know that until recently. but You can bring food into the airport? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You I just got to beware if you're traveling between, like, countries, countries and they don't like fruit and nuts. Right. Yeah. yeah, also nothing too super. You got to declare yeah. that. Then it will be part of but your yeah, eight ounces. I, I don't of do liquid. a good job of it. Well, my partner is excellent. She's got, like, a picnic bag gone on. Oh. <laughs> yep. Nice. Yep. I didn't yeah. know that because every time, like, um, people are trying to like get through. Um, they tell them like throw away their drinks and stuff. Drinks, yes. Yeah, but foods drinks, no. you can take. Yep. No. I normally just wait until I get into like where I find like my gate, and then I'll go get something to eat yep. and just kind of mm -hmm. take it with me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I specifically chose to fly out of JFK so I could fly out of Hawaiian instead of like Delta. Or, or I Hawaiian think was, has good food. It was I think it was United or American or something out of Philly. Even though I literally live in Philly and it's literally like a 20 minute train ride that costs set like nine dollars. Um, wow. Just because I wanted the food <laughs> on the flight. I love. I'd that. go for it. Ooh. And then you get the you get the macadamia. Wait. That that might have been yeah. a shark. I don't know. I think but I think the move is to just grab food in between your flights. Yeah. Like before yeah. and take it on yes. the airplane. Yeah, that's See, but it depends what move. airport sure. you're going through. Yeah, there are some dismal yeah, airports right. with Then you got a short food. layover and then you don't have enough yeah. time to get yeah, to your Yeah, and then you're there with your one cracker. <laughs> like, I hate my life. <laughs> that was me on the way to Hawaii. For 12 hours. I was <laughs> They're starving. only giving you that cracker because they figured it out somehow. This just makes a lot of difference whether you people die or not or <laughs> <laughs> minimal requirement for life is three pretzels I was just starving on my in flight your over oh there's been times they've like come come up to me and they're like oh do you want this pretzel or the cookie and I'm like can both. I both oh I ask for both every and time yes, and they will too they will like, of yeah. course but I feel like shamed asking not at all <laughs> not at all double cookie you all know, the way for how much it. for how much tickets cost nowadays yeah no. 
It's like everything's gotten way more expensive and you get less for it. Yeah. <laughs> Inflation. I was just thinking about how they don't give you a charger anymore when you get a new phone. Which really? I really? actually was just yeah, talking to somebody about that because, because yeah. I got a new. So what do you do with it? I got a new. I Is got a new one? phone, yeah. but like my old one had been before they changed the charger. Oh. And so I got this new phone, and I like didn't get the new charger yeah. with it. I was like, what? Oh. On my thousand dollar phone. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I had to I had to Google it to make sure that I was right, but it's it's because Apple's trying to claim it was a to waste be thing. A hundred percent carbon fish. neutral. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but you should I, be able to request if you that. need. That's yeah. If you need a new charger, you but should be able to say, "Give me that." That's still just yeah. silly. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. yeah. It's Especially because if you're gonna you change like one. the little port port thing, you should definitely give like a new one. Yeah. That's all gonna go again now. That'll be, I think they all have to be USB-C soon. Yeah. 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 They So they're, oh, yeah, the, the actual other end has to be too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Which well, will actually be that. better because it that's actually a really good connector. It and, will be you know, better. You can use it on everything. Mm -hmm. And it is so Are wasteful. Are standardizing <laughs> it for all I think it's because carriers? of Europe. The Europe because changed Europe the rules. Because Europe demanded it. Yeah. And I think now I it'll be this. done everywhere because it just yeah. doesn't. But the lightning connector was, like, great for a while, but the USB-C one is better, I think. Hmm. I like how Apple is just holding out. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah everybody else is already out <laughs> They're like, guys, we need to be carbon neutral, but we also need to make money. So, yeah. <laughs> welcome that, to the Android that horrible Master game race. they play with yeah. the the gas station chargers, where they work like five times. Yeah, yeah. and then they're broken. And, or something, and you don't and quite know. And charge. And then he had to like keep straightening it out, <laughs> just so he can actually get a decent charge, because <laughs> it has one little kink in it, it just won't charge at all and yeah. your phone's on five percent and you gotta <laughs> find your way home because <laughs> Dale <you're laughs> like <laughs> Dale has PTSD this is, this is personal. <laughs> Daniel was in like the middle of like Kansas when this happened. Yeah. I was in the middle of everywhere and nowhere at the same time. No but I know he I can relate like, I've I've dealt with charges like that where I had to like literally like wrapped around my whole phone just to like try to get it to charge. <laughs> Yeah, my phone charger stopped working, and I can't tell if it's because it's old or it's because my cat sometimes chews it to try and get me to feed her. Um, <laughs> Man, so chargers are good chargers. Why are you not feeding your cat? So expensive. You hold out for so long. Yeah, I went exactly. With my old computer charger, I don't know what happened, but it slowly died. Probably being out here, honestly, like the salt water definitely didn't help. And I wore that. I used that thing until it started sparking. <gasps> yeah, oh. it was not good. It was going to start a fire. No good. But it's $100 for a new yeah, one. Yeah, they're so. ridiculous. Oh, yeah. So bad. It's ridiculous. All right, we are 10 minutes okay. from the bottom of the ocean. All right, everybody, get get. Ooh. Yeah, I can't game. believe you don't get the mm -hmm. charger. Around 300 phone. meters. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I love that we're still stuck on that. That's it's yeah. terrible. It's, it's brutal. So bad. It like, is brutal. That's one of the only little things. I mean, those things are 30 bucks each I know. or something. Yeah. So you buy a new phone, you're like, ooh, I get a free charger. Like, <laughs> and then it's now really they don't even sell but, like you know. the chargers <laughs> together, like with the box and no. the cord is yep. separate. You have to buy the block and like separate, and it's yeah. like another like forty dollars. Yep. Once they started. Like Horrible. stop putting uh, like earbuds in with them, and like got rid of the uh, aux port in the phones. So it was mm -hmm. all downhill from there. <laughs> I know oh, that's yeah. so. I still bemoan Upset. that. Like yeah. why can't yeah. I plug headphones I, in? It's annoying to not be able to plug them in, and also like if you walk up to a stair, like a big speaker system, or or a car that only has aux cord, mm -hmm. which is supposed to do. There's yeah. um a way you can get like these uh Bluetooth FM transmitters. Oh god, those things. I love I love the one I have in my car. It's oh, fun. Okay. I get better signal than I do with like <laughs> the aux cord. Mm -hmm. My friends Either would that like, or, like sound buy an really adapter. bad. Yeah. But then that's just more money. You gotta buy a whole adapter just to put your headphones. And then you gotta keep your track board. of said adapter, yep. which I do not. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's too, it's too much. <laughs> it's all too much. Technology. Yeah. Don't yeah. we just love it? Is the DC ground fault the arm? It is the arm. The arm. Better that than something else. Yes. But yeah, I like I got a new phone. Like I got an iPhone 14, and I was like, no charger, for all that. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, you're like, hey. wow, they don't need chargers anymore? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, so that was cool. Wow. Yeah. Well, they got this <laughs> new thing where you can, yeah, it's like wireless charging. You can just yeah. put it on a pad. Yeah, but you got to buy give us pad? one of those? Exactly. I know. Buy the pad. Doesn't it take like a 10 days to charge or something? No, I think it's actually really fast. Oh, good. I think that's like the selling point of the pad thing. But no, they um, were slow. Like that's, that is slower than if you charge it off the big block. Yeah. yeah but it like like might not be 10 days as I suggested. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like one day. <laughs> yeah, but with those, you have to like take out your phone at the case, depending on what case you have. Because it's not going to charge well, to the case. you got to buy the yeah. special case with the special magnet does, in it, don't you know? It is just more money. <laughs> Either way, oh, you're spinning. <laughs> what was that? That was cute. Wait, shoot, I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, cool. oh, Some sort of jelly. That's uh. where you like leave it charged all night and you get up and it's at like 43%. You're well, like, what? <laughs> because then it does the smart charge what? thing too. You know that? Yeah. Where it starts to predict your schedule and leave it at like 80% until it oh. thinks you're going to wake up soon. But if you yeah, change your schedule. Yeah, because you get like a notification that at this oh time God, it be, I shall be fully charged. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just waking up all night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. It's <laughs> great. Yeah. Yeah, great. I, I only just learned how bad it is to charge your phone overnight. Wait, why is well, that bad? Kills the battery faster. Like but they're supposed to be. They're supposed also. to be. Uh, <laughs> resistant against that <laughs> now. I don't know. I, but yeah. I think they want your battery to die as fast yeah. as oh, possible. Oh, absolutely. Oh, we're going. Oh. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster in here. Oh. And everything. Oh, wow. Cost Everybody do the wave. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that? I like how only Sarah so. was the one that did the wave. <laughs> <laughs> and well, it's like leaning the other direction. It's confusing to me. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. It's still going. <laughs> Aren't there like many waves? Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're in the ocean. <laughs> New I don't know. I'll take it. We're we're adjusting our heading a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's actually kind of fun. fun. <laughs> yeah. At least one thing that's improved is the cameras on these phones. <laughs> that's true. That is true. But why does it take three cameras? <laughs> yeah, for real. It's so <laughs> awful. Yeah. I hate knowing that my phone has more than one camera, but... Oh. It has four. Dude. Uh, uh, yeah, that is no, I the think there's like don't know five. Isn't there like two in the front one or something? No one. No, there's like only good. one. No. I don't know. I feel pretty happy about it. <laughs> you got to find a special case mean. for that because not all cases But you know what? Good. I'm not about the chargers, so I'm not interested in, uh, in yeah. uh, selling <laughs> this right now. I don't know. I've had my phone for like five years and That's it still awesome. works. That's so. good. Well, you know what happened to yeah. mine? The mine week before like I left for Antarctica, it just stopped working. It just <laughs> didn't turn on. And I go to the Apple store like, you know, 32 hours till I have to leave. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, it's three years old. I mean, phones don't last forever. You didn't do anything. It's just not meant to last. I was no, like, they made it not that's how mine was. That's not exactly meant to last three years? That's how mine was. They probably sent you an update that meant to brick it, and then you're out with a phone. Mm -hmm. I say my phone, um, before this one, it just, like, the battery kept dying yep. so quick. Yeah. It'll literally be on 80, and the next notice it shuts off, and it's like, oh, your battery's at 10%. I'm like, it was just yeah. on 80. How? <laughs> My battery health was, I think, 